And we had our fair share of rain here in East Texas, but we really did need it. Yes, yes, we did need it, and it came at the result of a lot of flooding, but this yeah. is some beneficial rainfall that we have picked up, and the rain that, we're, that we received didn't take into account how the drought monitor changed. Let me give you a look at what we had last week with the drought. We've been talking about a severe drought, and you might say, what severe drought because we've had all of this rainfall as we went through the end of 2019 and as we began 2020 beneficial rain. It just has not been the deep rooted rain like what we had here the last several days that has allowed us to see this drought monitor actually begin to this to decrease. So this was last week. Let me show you what this week looks like and remember this week takes into account everything up to Tuesday morning. So it did not include the two to five inches of rain that many of of you received from Tuesday night into Wednesday. However, there's a great sign here. We've seen the severe drought begin to break apart. It's now just encompassing far western sections of Henderson County, Anderson and Houston County. Most areas now are in the moderate drought and only a slight drought off to our northeast and near our Texas and Louisiana border counties. That is a great sign and ultimately we're going to be in probably for some more rainfall to come in looking longer range in the six to 10 day outlook. Well, look at what's happening here in Texas. Above normal rainfall is expected to come back in while below normal precipitation will stay out to the west. That just essentially means that more rain opportunities will be coming back into the picture. Today, though, has been dry. The main story, though, is trying to get these clouds out of here and they're starting to decrease just a tad. But overall, a mainly uh, cloudy sky did prevail for us as we have went through this afternoon. That has impacted temperatures a lot as we have stayed in the 40s for many areas this afternoon. 41 in Gilmer right now, 44 in Palestine, Lufkin at a temperature right at about 49. But it feels a lot colder. It actually feels like the 30s with that north wind that is with us. The clouds will clear out more later on tonight, which means everybody's going below freezing tomorrow morning. 28 Mount Pleasant, 29 in Emory in the morning, 30 in Tyler, about 28 in Henderson, Palestine around 30. A northeast wind will make it feel colder than this. 27 in Center, Groveton, right at about 32. Tomorrow, Valentine's Day, and the weather is going to be a lot better. It still will be on the chilly side, so you'll need to dress warm during the day, but a really nice afternoon as we go into the lower 50s for tomorrow. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast as we are on track to see warmer temperatures to come back in. So we're going to stay dry dry for the next few days. Saturday 62, another light freeze for some of us on Saturday morning. Sunday, we jump up into the lower 70s, but here come some clouds that will increase a lot more starting on Sunday. Monday, very warm, mid 70s, and then the rain does return, and it comes with some much cooler, cooler air. Tuesday, we start in the 60s, we will touch near 70, and then fall to the 50s on Tuesday afternoon, and then wet weather next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There's deep east Texas, also a great weather as we go into the weekend, but some clouds start to return turn Saturday and look at Monday. Man, pushing near 80 degrees. This is like some sort of weird experience. Crazy, yeah. It's that's my experiment. Mm. Go to the lab. I don't want to pay an air conditioning bill now at this time of year, though. I hear you. So Maybe, though, on Monday, don't. you just yes. might have to. You're 80. I don't know. <laughs> just don't pay it. Yeah. See what happens. Uh, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> All right, certainly some. That would be my experience. Some interesting news today, changing the topic. No, let's Coming talk out about of that. <laughs> sports training today.